Maya Lee and welcome to my channel. Have you ever wanted to learn how to make your own custom clock charms? Well, I'm going to show you how you can do that with a Cricut cutting machine. But to get started, you do need a list of items, which includes a color printer, printable vinyl, charms blanks kit, UV resin with the light, and of course the Cricut Explore or Maker series. Now I will leave a list in the description box so that you can go ahead and get those items. Now before we get started, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel and share. What I like to do after I get my images on the canvas, I go ahead and I'll start creating the shapes. So I know I want to do, let's see what it looks like for the square so when it comes in it's large so all I'm gonna do is make sure I select it and do one by one and it has the lock on here so that means it's going to maintain a proportion so if I do one it's gonna automatically change the height but if it's unlocked then that means that I can make it like a rectangular shape but this is what my crock charm the size is gonna look like so let me just go ahead See, I can't put it over it, so that means it's at the top over in the layers panel. So I'm going to take and just drag that and drag it underneath the picture I want to use so that I can see how it's going to look. And that's not going to be the color, but I, I do want to see it. See what it's going to look like. And I can zoom in because this is small, but we're at the size that we're using. So that looks like it's going to be perfect and to make it really fit you're gonna take your mouse you're gonna do a left click and drag over and it'll select both of those and then you want to go up to alignment I could do a center one I think I want to do it a center now it's centered perfect now I can change my background the square that's gonna be my background I can change it to black let's see here I think that's pretty or I can leave it white they both kind of pop as a matter of fact let's go ahead and duplicate this so I, I just did a left drag I want to go over to my panel layers panel and hit duplicate because I like how the black looks and I like how the white looks so I'm going to take one selecting it from my layers panel going up to operation where it says basic cut I'm gonna to go to the right of that and select black the material color so now I have one with a black background and then I have one with the white background depending on which pair of Crocs I'm gonna wear <laughs> so after you finalize like okay I want this to be my look you're gonna do a left click this is how I always select two of them and then it'll, I just do a drag of the lasso and it makes sure it covers both of them. I want to flatten because we're doing a print and cut. So I'll go to flatten. So this one is set. It has been flattened. So now it's all one. So I'll set you to the side. You're done. Then I'll do a left drag, select and flatten. See, you can't really tell when it's over here but there is a white square behind it so those two are done and ready for our print and cut now this is an SVG so I definitely have to flatten it but now I have to bring out let's try a few different shapes so let's try the heart and for the heart I have to change the the size the width of the heart is going to be one so I'll take one and then I hit tab over and then it automatically goes to 0 0.884 and that's what the size is for the blank that I have. So Hobby to Business is one of my businesses that I have and I absolutely love it. So let's see how it looks with the heart. So I'm going over to the layers panel and I'm just going to scroll and I need to take that SVG and move it to go on top so I can actually see it so all I'm doing is selecting it and dragging it 
and then it goes to the top. So now I can take the hobby to business and it looks a little bit large to fit inside of the heart. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna resize it just down so that it all fits. It's gonna be small, but that's okay. Let's see how does that look. Because remember, I have to fit it within the parameters of, oh, I don't want to turn it. Let's undo it. Of the heart. So I'm just moving it around to see how that would look. Let's move the heart to. Okay, so it just barely fits in there. And that's okay. That heart is going to have to be white in order for it to pop so I can have that contrast. So I'm selected. So I'm selecting um, the heart right now. So select and then you'll see it has been selected. Go up to operation. Click on the gray box. That's the colors. And select the material color. And so there I go. All right, I think that's cute. Let's let's roll with it. So now I'm going to do a left drag. So I do a left click and then I hold it down and then I release it once it has everything selected. And I'm going to flatten. All right, it has been flattened and then as you can see if I go over you can see the heart and the printer will recognize it and the Cricut machine will recognize that shape. So next I want to go with the afro and the afro puff. Now we can maybe add something to it. Maybe I want to put like um, 1865 something related to Juneteenth. And I could just make it smaller, put it up top, and maybe that can be my, my crop charm. charm. So it's just the date, or I can, you know, of course, add something to it. Let's add something, maybe some flames or something like that. Let's see what we have. Let me type in flames, see if anything pops up. Of course stuff pops up, 440 images, which is so cool. I actually like that first one, but let's just scroll and see, look at all of those, it's so nice. But like I said, I like the, ooh, did you see that rose? Now that looks so cool. I'm gonna have to come back and use that for something. Okay, so let's go up, let's just go with this first one. Add the canvas. And then all you have to do is size it down. I'll typically just go up in the width and just type in one so I can get it smaller. So I kind of want like, you know, for some reason it just popped in my head, 1865. Maybe move that around. I want that on top, so I'm just gonna do a drag. And another way you can do it is you can select it. You can go up to the top and it has the arrange and you can say bring the front that's another way so i want this to be white so i'm changing the color so i think that's pretty cool so once i finish and i'm like okay yeah let's 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 make this work i'm gonna drag over with my last so make sure everything is selected and i will flatten. Oh, I just thought of something that might be kind of cool to incorporate. Okay, so I'm going to select the afro and I'm going to offset it. So I select it. I'm going to go to offset and I don't want to offset it outward. I want to offset it inward to like, yeah, let's do right there. Kind of want to offset it maybe. Let's do point zero five apply so and I want to do one more offset 
it applied. Okay. So I'm going over to the right. Let me see. Where's my offset at? Is it underneath it? Or did it not take it? Let's try it again. Offset. I want to do negative 0.05. And it applied so I want to do red black and then I want to do a green so let me offset it again and apply I want to give it kind of like this layered effect so the gray I'm gonna click I think that was the gray no that was the black so I said the red black so I'm gonna change this to green so that was green if I can I'll just go over to the panels and find it this is going to be black and then the one on the outside we're gonna make this red okay I don't know it's kind of cool <laughs> I'm just gonna move the flames around just a little bit like it's fire I know I'm being all extra but this came in my head I could take it out but I actually like it with it in so I'm gonna keep keep that in and I'm gonna do a left drag with the lasso and I'm gonna flatten it all right so that one's ready to go and then this last one just really simple I just want to do some text uh, let me bring it up some and type in queen and I can always choose different fonts what's nice is you can go with some of your bookmarked I don't even know what I have bookmarked sometimes just you get to using so many you're like wait why did I just bookmark everything? So let's see. I think that's actually pretty. Ooh, this is kind of cool. Let's. Oh, but I always like this one. We're going with the honey syrup. <laughs> okay, so I want to go here. And I want to put this one here just try to do something different and what's nice about this is you can make it your own you do whatever you want with it so I'm just going to turn it and then you can always like put little inspirational sayings in there too it's not letting me select it by itself so I'm just going to go over to my panel and select it over there I could do queen I could do loved. Let's do that. It's just text. Queen. Or let's just say love. Mm. You can do beauty, whatever. Whatever you like and whatever you find that works. So I want this to be maybe we'll go with like a red and queen can be let's see what purple ah, I need some more contrast if I go with a black background I want to pop more Ooh, look at this bright yellow it's actually kind of pretty let's go with that bright yellow just moving around and you can add more or take away whatever you like but let's go with this I'm gonna do a left lasso click and flatten so now I have all of these that I could put on one so I'm, I want to make croc charms out of all of them so now that it's done let me just go ahead and save it I'm gonna just save it as croc charms All right, it has successfully saved, and now I can go ahead and make it. Here are the print and cut settings. Once you have those set, you can send it to the printer, and then 
cut it on a Cricut machine. So what I like to do is take my weeder, pick a corner, And there we go. Take off the masking. You can you just take it. I recommend just getting a corner. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my image. What I like to do is place it down with the sticky side up. I use my little weeding tool. <laughs> I don't want it to stick. and make sure that it's lint free, you wipe it down. And then this way you can line it up a lot easier with the corners. And there you go. That's the first part. You can use this or you can add the resin on top. For this next part, I like to use either one glove or two gloves because I'm going to be using the UV resin right here. So I'm going to take that off. And I like to put something <laughs> on my mat so I don't get it. It doesn't go over too much. This one is nice. It's the hard type. And I slowly put it on because I don't want any bubbles. So I just do like a little dab and I slowly bring it to the outside. And I just, I'm not really, I'm not squeezing for any of it to come out right now. I'm just kind of letting it slowly come out. Now I'm just getting a perimeter. Just want to make sure you get all your little corners so it's like a nice little clean finish. And like I said, I go slow. And when you have it everywhere you want it to go, Now it's time for the UV light. And then you leave this on there for a couple of minutes. It can do maybe like two minutes and then it'll be hardened. So after like two to four minutes, it should be pretty hard. Look at how beautiful that turned out. Now it's time once it's hardened that's why I like using it. It's like right away you can start. You turn it around on the back. You take the masking tape off. I typically always wait until after I finish the front part before I take off. And I, and I start in a corner. And now it's ready to apply the croc charm. So now I am adding the back piece. You have a flat and a rounded part on here. So the flat part is where I'm going to center it on the back of my crop charm. So I'm just gonna dab a little bit of my super glue on the back. Again, this is the flat part. Not too, too much, but if it goes over, if it leaks, it's okay because this is the back of it. And it might move around just a little bit. And then you just hold it. It'll hold in place. And I just keep it there. And it hardens um, pretty quickly. But I'll just say like 
leave it there for maybe about 15 minutes. Now, one tip is instead of using the UV light flashlight, you can use a nail light, one of those gel nail lights. Thank you so much for watching and learning how to make your own custom croc charms. Now make sure you like the video, subscribe to my channel, and also share the video for more tutorials.